Hey Phil, uh, thanks a lot for having this kind of conversation. I really like this um, really intriguing stuff. Like, I, I know there are tons of people who are going to be just like, oh, fuck you, I wanted some news. And admittedly, when I saw it, I was kind of like, ooh, okay. Uh, but <laughs> I really like it when um, YouTubers and stuff just take a break from funny stuff and talk about, like, serious kind of things. Uh, and it's actually kind of interesting because I was actually thinking of doing a video that's somewhat related to this. Uh, and I was also probably going to edit it and stuff since I can actually use my new camera for my viewers. I can use my old camera because I got a USB thing. But I'm not going to cut it because one, I don't have enough time, and two, I'm too lazy. Which is a good way to start um, a question about self worth. So there's kind of two different things I wanted to talk about because there's stuff that happened to me yesterday and stuff that happened to me today that I think really was really kind of relevant to this question. Yesterday, uh. It all comes down to this, some fancy soap that cost me $30. And it was surprising how much I was affected by it, because I, I've never been bullied, so I think in part I'm not really resilient to people just, I don't know, pointing out my flaws and stuff. And I see tons of other people doing it on the internet, like pointing out people's flaws, and I'm just like, fuck you. But, um... What actually happened is I was, um, going to a shopping centre, uh, buying that red shirt. Uh, because I wanted to do a cosplay. Uh, and it's going to be like a Jack Frost, but it's going to be a summer Jack Frost kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, I went there and uh, I went to look at Kmart and I tried some stuff on. Um, and also the singlets were weird. And uh, I was going back and this woman came up to me and says like, Oh, you have dark circles. And I was like, what? Because I mean, I, I know that I've got... Um, dark circles under my eyes, and I'm constantly complaining about like, oh, I've got these massive wing things, but it, nobody else notices, and everyone's just like, Psh, it's fine. But this woman came up to me and she was like, oh, you've got dark circles. It's like, do you work or anything? It's like, no, I'm not really doing anything with my life. She's like, oh, it's like, do you want to buy this this soap for like thirty bucks? And I was like, no. I mean, I've I don't really have, well I do have 30 bucks, I mean I got 80 just from doing jury suit duty um, a couple of days ago, but um, I didn't want to th throw half it, of it away on some soap thing, which I obviously ended up doing, and I kind of thought about it and I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I essentially went to the stall and I was almost to the point of crying because I, I know that it's terrible. And I don't want these black eyes because I feel just so conscious of them. And then I get all annoyed because this is something that never affects like any other guys. Like I'm, I'm not um, gay or anything. Like I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that or they're more obsessed with beauty. But I imagine they'd be a bit more kind of obsessed with how they look than just a heterosexual guy. The heterosexual guy would just like I need a beef up. Whereas I like I like wear makeup. And admittedly, most of that's for cosplay, but still, I feel kind of self-conscious of that. And this really affected me, so I ended up actually buying it, and I haven't really used it, but I really feel angry at myself, because I feel like I've almost given up on myself, in a way, because I knew that I didn't want to get it, but I just kind of gave in to this woman. She ended up giving me a free one, um, anyway, so I ended, ended, ended up, I paid $30, but I got two soaps anyway, so it wasn't really that bad, but, um, hmm. But anyway, I want to talk about art today, because um, if, if I get around to it and my parents don't get home and they don't shut down my operations, because I'm a cosplayer, and I think in a way that kind of relates to what, what I'd really like to be in terms of self-worth, because there are so many cosplayers that I see online, um, my two favourites, Cartoon 13 and Mango Sirene, otherwise known as Hyth on Tumblr, I'll try and include some links. Uh, they inspired me to get into cosplay, like, um, I was watching, like, TV shows and stuff and I was like, wow, this is awesome, it'd be so awesome if I could be this person. Then I found, like, a tutorial in Mango Sirene, and then I started getting into cosplay. I, I haven't actually done that one yet, I want to do Beast Boy so badly, but, I mean, I've only just started, so, not really going to do that yet. But, that's, that's what I kind of want my self-worth to be, that's why I have a YouTube channel, like, I know that it's going to be a lot longer than I thought because I was like, oh, okay, by the end of the month I'm going to have like tons of subscribers. Keeping in mind that this was the same person who had, f who about five months ago or something, um, I released like a news thing because I love 
I love you, Philly D, and I love new stuff. And I posted a thing, and I was like, okay, by the end of the week, I'm going to have 10 subscribers, and it's going to have 100 views. I only have 8 now, um, and I don't know how many that had, but I think it's probably around 60 views. So, eh, not really quite what I was hoping for. But I really want to be a YouTuber, because I love this new media approach and everything, and I guess if... If I could pick anything that I'd really want to be and what I think would be, I would feel the most kind of like I'm fulfilling my self-worth would be like that, like a cosplayer on YouTube, like Quarter and Cheers, like my idol, one of my idols. Um, and it would be so awesome to be able to inspire others to cosplay because I personally think it is one of them. I, I've only done it two or three times. And it has been the most fun that I have, like, ever had. Like, I was in that big kind of funk in a groove and I was just, ugh, I'm so depressed. And I started cosplaying and, like, just walk, not even walking in the door, like, getting to the tram full of cosplayers to go to the convention was just, oh, it was so awesome. And I want to inspire other people to, if nothing else, give it a go. Or, if nothing else, just to embrace your inner fanboy or girl. Just, it's really what I'd love to do. But anyway, um, I'm going to go because I need to wait for that shirt to dry and then uh, burn it, not completely, just the edges. Um, and I'll post some videos of that if you, any of you guys want to um, see. But uh, I guess I'll see you later. Bye, Phil. I hope you, I don't know, find what you're looking for. And don't, don't, you, you don't need to question self-worth because everybody, like, respects you. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be telling you what to do. Do what you want. Don't listen to me, but, yeah, you're an awesome person. Don't, don't ever question that you're an awesome person. You inspire me and you inspire so many other people. Okay, so I've probably been talking for a quarter of an hour, so I'm going to switch the camera off. Um, bye.